The final burial rites for the first civilian governor of Bielsa State, Chief D.S.P. Alamesia, J.P., Ph.D., began in Yenagua, the Bielsa State capital, on Thursday, the 7th April 2016, with a public lecture that took place in the banquet hall of the government house Yenagua, which has since been renamed Chief D.S.P. Alamesia Memorial Hall. The lecture with the theme, Federalism and Development in Nigeria, was delivered by Professor G.G. Dara, the renowned professor of oral literature and folklore, who is like a moving encyclopedia on all issues germane to resource control. Professor G.G. Dara served for 10 years as chairman of the editorial board of the Guardian and Daily Times newspapers. He also lectured at the University of Ibadan, the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, and the Northeastern University, Boston, Massachusetts, USA. In attendance at the lecture were Governor Henry Seriaki Dixon of Bielsa State. His deputy, Rear Admiral John Jonah, retired. The Speaker of the Bielsa State House of Assembly, Honorable Kombuwe Benson. Former Governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke, who served as Governor at the same time with Chief D.S.P. Alamesia, J.P., Ph.D. Others were King Alfred Diete Spief, the Amayanabo of Tuan Brass, members of the National Assembly representing Bielsa State in both arms of the National Assembly. Dr. Mrs. Yanya Lulu Briggs was joined by other prominent dignitaries from Bielsa State, River State, and other parts of the Niger Delta region. Members of Bielsa State Executive and Legislative Councils were also present at the event, which was chaired by Professor Turner Isong, a former Minister of Science and Technology, who is an illustrious son of Bielsa State. The eldest son of Chief DSP Alamesia, Tombra Alamesia, led his other siblings to the lecture in honor of their father. In the opening remarks by the chairman of the public lecture, Professor Tona Isson, he took an introspective appraisal of the issues of resource control from the very beginning, positing strongly that it's a totally wrong perception for anyone to think that it is only the people of the Niger Delta region that stand to gain from resource control. He praised the organizers of the event for choosing a topic he described as most appropriate and the most fitting tribute to honor the demise of Chief D.S.P. Alamesia, who lived and died as a champion of the resource-controlled struggle. This event is very important because it puts it in context, an intellectual context, if you like, of the asset. This is celebration of life. This is celebration of a man who made enormous contributions, who decided that in spite of all the odds, that in the indomitable spirit of the Ijo people, the Niger Delta people, that he showed that he cannot be conquered. Leader of the Ijo nation, leader of Nigeria. Sometimes people think Alamesia was just an Ijo leader. He was more than Ijo leader. He was leader for Nigeria. The former governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke, also saluted the courage of his former colleague in galvanizing all the governors and leaders of the South-South area as far back as his first tenure as governor to form a common front in the struggle for resource control. Former Governor Donald Duke also praised the late Governor Alamesia for his pioneering efforts in opening up Bielsa State. We salute the courage of DSP. We're saddened that just as he was reawakening, death came calling. But I want to commend and congratulate the government and indeed the people of Bielsa State. He may not be physically with us today, but we will eternally remember him. I want to urge the family, your loss is our loss. All of us, we fondly remember him. Remember his strides, remember the injustice that was meted against him. He bore the brunt of standing up for justice. And today, we are collectively emancipating that gentleman. In the lecture, themed Federalism and Development in Nigeria, 
which was most eloquently delivered by Professor Gigi Dara, a proud Niger Delton, honorable man from the Delta State Extraction. He displayed unparalleled understanding of all the issues surrounding the struggle for resource control, which the Niger Delta region has been agitating for over the years. Professor Gigi Dara placed most of the faults on the doorstep of the white colonialists, who he said were driven mostly by business interest and the pecuniary gains therein in the divide and rule tactics they introduced in the governance of Nigeria. A tactics which has dangerously polarized a people who were joined together by one destiny into different camps with the seed of hatred and disdain for one another already sown. Professor Gigi Dara enjoined governors of the South South states, no matter their political leanings, to close ranks to present a common front to demand for the appropriate share of the God-given resources that genuinely belong to the region, which produces a large chunk of oil, which still remains the mainstay of Nigeria's economy today. We are grateful to God that we had him. I wish to demonstrate that the people of Ijo nation, Alamesia and all the other comrades who have struggled and sacrificed their life, and the rest of the nations of the Niger Delta, I have proven in this lecture that we are engaged in the major transformation of our environment and society. And Alamesia was in the vanguard of that transformation. People in other lands have done it. And their efforts were chronicled and written down for us to learn in school. What the government of Bayelsa State has done today by adding this academic dimension to the funeral rites is to signal to the world that we are also going to chronicle, chronicle our own achievements for the rest of the world to admire and learn from. In his remarks to round off the public lecture in the honor of the late Governor of Bayelsa State, Chief DSP Alamasia, Governor Henry Sereki Dixon of Bayelsa State said that discussion on federalism and development in Nigeria touched on the very essence of the life of the late DSP Alamasia, who struggled selflessly for equality and the emancipation of the marginalized people from different parts of the country, particularly the Niger Delta region. Governor Sereki Dixon said that late Governor DSP Alamasia was his mentor who contributed a lot to his growth in politics. He said the Ijo nation was very appreciative of the contributions of Chief Alamasia, and for that, his memory will remain eternal in the minds of all Bayeltans. And by so doing, and also to celebrate a life well lived. I want to thank you because this event is the beginning of a series of events I want to thank you, particularly those of you who have come from very far places. I know a number of you have been here since yesterday. And a number of you were part of several events in Lagos, in Abuja, in Port Harcourt, and in several other places and in several forms. Thursday, the 7th of April, 2016, featured a night of songs and tributes in affectionate memory of the late illustrious son of the Ijo Nation, Chief D.S.P. Alamasia, J.P., Ph.D. In attendance at the events which took place at the Gabriel Okara Cultural Center, Yenagua, by Elsa State, where former President Goodluck Jonathan and his wife, Dame Patience Jonathan, Governor Henry Seriaki Dixon, his wife, Dr. Mrs. Rachel Dixon, Chief Mrs. Margaret Alamasia, children and family members of the enlarged Alamasia family and friends from other parts of the country and beyond were also there to pay their last respect to someone generally called the Governor General of Ijo Nation. The main features of the evening were congregational hymnal singing and special renditions by some choral groups. Here we come to a part of our life and 
The tribute session featured testimonies and reminiscences from different perspectives from those whose lives have been positively touched in one way or the other by Chief DSP Alamasia. Those who spoke included members of the Alamasia family, Governor Syriaki Dixon of Bayosa State, who made some major pronouncements to immortalize the memory of the late great Ijo leader, having lived and died pursuing the course of the Ijo nation. We will be receiving him in the ESCO chapters and on the way we shall also be passing through the road that he started which was one of the first roads that we did with six bridges straight to the university community of Massozo. That road tomorrow will be named DSP and Lamesteya Road. We shall stop to unveil it. Tomorrow, the venue where the special executive council session shall hold, which he built, which he built, this was a pioneer. He and his deputy, a pioneer, what has become our greatest development city, if not the sharp shortfall that has. So tomorrow, that building where that special executive council session shall hold, which today we call the banquet hall of government house, will also appropriately be unveiled as Chief DSP and Lamosia Memorial Hall. Earlier this afternoon, I have announced that the government of the state every year on the anniversary of his death shall sponsor in conjunction with his family and his friends the chief dsp alamis memorial lecture in his honor in his own tribute former president goodluck jonathan commiserated with the immediate family of chief dsp alamisia whom he called his boss for his sad and untimely death was said that he will be remembered for his contributions to the ijo nation as we leave us, we pray that God should give the needed family, the wife and the children, because they are still very young people, the fortitude to bear this loss, painful loss. Also, the people of this great state. But God should also help us, give us the wisdom to now walk in line with the spirit of uniting the angel people. So that all of us will unite for the common development of our people. One of the speakers said it all. Most of them made reference to that. We have the governor, and we should all unite and work with the governor for the common interests of our people. The remains of the governor general of the Ijo Nation, Chief DSP Alamasia, was laid in state at his home at the Okolo area of Yenagua, Bayelsa State, on Friday, April 8, 2016. Sympathizers from different parts of the country converged there to console his widow, children, and family members. From there, Alamasia's mortar remains in a white casket was taken on a special caravan with his first daughter leading the motorcade as she displayed the photograph of her father on the way to former banquet hall of Government House Yanagua, now named Chief DSP Alamasia Memorial Hall. <laughs> Here, 
an extraordinary state executive council session was held in his honor as the first elected civilian governor of Bayelsa State. The very impressive attendance at the event paraded a rich array of those who have served in various capacities in the Bayelsa State government since its creation, either as governors, deputies, speakers, secretary to government of the state, as well as other functionaries of government. National Assembly members representing Bayosa State and the Senate and House of Reps were joined by members of the People's Democratic Party, led by the chairman of the PDP BOT, Alhaji Walid Jibrin, Senator Ibrahim Mantu, former Minister for Information, Mr. Labaran Maku, and other prominent indigents of Bayosa State from different walks of life. The extraordinary Executive Council session held in honor of the late Chief DSP Alamasia, was chaired by Governor Seriaki Dixon of Bayelsa State. Former President Goodluck Jonathan was also part of the proceedings which formally began as the corpse conveying the remains of Chief DSP Alamasia entered the hallowed chambers of the Chief DSP Alamasia Memorial Hall, Government House, Yenagua. The session featured a lot of encomiums, eulogies, and accolades by those who had worked closely with Alamasia, either as commissioners, members of the House of Assembly, secretary to the government of the state in the period between 1999 and 2005 when he served as the governor of Bielsa State. They all paid glowing tributes to his unparalleled love for Bielsa State and the Ijo Nation. His consummate passion for education and infrastructural development of Bielsa State was also praised. Who took the Jod Nation from unknown to the unknown, to the known. There is no time for me to elaborate on his achievements. But Your Excellency, Mr. President, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, will agree that first and foremost, Allah me say, Love the people of a your land with a passion and with commitment. Let nobody take that away from him. Perhaps it is news to many that I had a divine vision of persuading our late governor to come into politics and to contest election. I did that three times and he refused. The last time I went to speak to him, I took His Royal Highness Joshua, Jonathan Kubo along. I told him to be my witness because the push for me to persuade Alamasia was becoming unbearable. Fortunately for me, because it was his destiny, on that occasion, he accepted because he kept saying, I'm not a politician, I don't know what to do. I said, Your own is to accept, we know what to do. To put the concept of patriotism in context, renowned English poet Sir Walter Scott asked rhetorically in his epic poem titled Patriotism. He said, Breathe there the man with soul so dead, who never to himself has said, this is my own, my native land. Is there any person like that? His soul must be dead. By his deeds, His Excellency Alamesia, whom we mourn today, answered that question by proclaiming this is my own, my unconquerable Ijo land, my native land, my beloved Nigeria. The foundation for the growth and success is recorded in the judiciary today was laid by Chief DSP Alamesia JP PhD as the pioneer first executive governor of the state. He provided the first and only befitting accommodation for the Honorable Chief Judge and Judges, which through the monetization policy has now become personal homes of Honorable Judges.
he laid the foundation and commenced the construction of the current headquarters of the High Court of Justice. He provided all other necessary tools and infrastructure needed for the judiciary to work effectively, efficiently, and optimally. It's different for some people to want to go into politics and partake in, you know, to want to become governor. But I saw a man that went beyond that. He wanted to expose the biasans beyond the level because it was like we were slaves in this country. But Alami said made Bayelsa to be known beyond the state, even beyond the country. Governor Sereki Dixon capped the tribute paying session with some official pronouncements by him to honor Chief DSP Alamasia, which includes the naming of some landmarks after him. Today, the remains of our leader, our brother, father, husband, uncle, most importantly, our first civilian governor that we all fondly called Governor General. His remains are now here with us. And I would like to use this opportunity to again acknowledge all your contributions and sacrifices since his demise. And for friends of the state, friends of the family, let me use this opportunity also to acknowledge your support since a sad and untimely person. A motion was also moved by Chief TKO Okorotie, which sought to encourage Bayelsa state people from whatever political leanings to come together and speak with one voice in matters that concerns the development of the state. The motion was supported and seconded. The unity of all Bayelsans will indeed be the most desired lasting tribute to make to immortalize the name of Chief DSP Alamasia, whose major preoccupation while alive was to unite all Bayelsans, Ijon Nation, and the Niger Delta region. A commendation service was held for the repose of the soul of Chief DSP Alamasia, JP, PhD, in Amasoma, his hometown, on Saturday, 9th April 2016. On a day the heavens decided to open up showers of blessings to lead that worthy son of Bayelsa State, Ijo Nation, the Niger Delta region, and Nigeria to his final resting place. Again, Bayelsa State, Ijo Nation, and Nigerians from within and beyond the shores converged in Amasoma to pay their last respects to a man who can be rightly described as a most hospitable, warm, cultured, friendly and highly detribalized person who found it extremely difficult and ungodly to bear any grudge towards anybody. Chief DSP Alamasia has uncommon capacity for acquiring friends from all parts of the country. This made him the ideal of people across ethnic, religious and even political leanings. Chief DSP Alamasia's uncommon attributes was reciprocated by his friends associates and acquaintances from as far afield as all parts of the world at the commendation service. The Yoruba nation led by the chairman Biskin Communications, Prince B.C. Olatilo, displayed unparalleled and undivided loyalty in friendship to a friend whom he had known for upward of 15 years. A friend who treated him like a king and gave him all the respect he deserved in all undertakings not mind on the fact that he was a governor of a state. Prince Bisiolati Law and the BOS crew were in Bayosa State for three days for all the events to pay a well-deserved final farewell to DSP Alamasia. We want to specially thank former Governor DSP Alamasia for introducing the Bisiolati Law show to Bayosa State, the Ijo Nation, and the entire Niger Delta region. The Ijo Nation the Niger Delta Nation, the entire South-South region, and Nigeria in general stood out to roundly pay their last respects to Chief DSP Alamasia, who was indeed a genuine friend who was very down to earth. Distinguished senators and members of the House of Reps from Bielsa State, Delta State, 
other parts of Nigeria, and by elsons from all strata of society, the young and old, the high and mighty, celebrated Chief DSP Alamasia, the Lion of Ijo Nation, as he has done right from the beginning of the final barrier rites for the one he calls his mentor, supporter, and leader, Governor Seraki Dixon of Bayosa State, his wife, Dr. Mrs. Rachel Dixon, the Deputy Governor, Rear Admiral John Jonah, retired, Speaker of the State House of Assembly, once again galvanized the whole of Bayosa State to mark the demise of the great warrior and fighter from Ijo land. Former President Goodluck Jonathan and his wife, Dame Patience Jonathan, also paid their last respect to Chief DSP Alamasia. The solemn service which was conducted by officiating ministers from St. Stephen's Anglican Church, Yanagua, Bayosa State, was marked in the main by remarks and tributes to remember Chief DSP Alamasia. <laughs> The first tribute that was read at the service came from former Governor James Onanefe Ibori of Delta State, in which he condoled with the people of Bayelsa State, the Niger Delta region, and Nigeria in general. He paid glowing tributes to the pioneering efforts of Chief Alamasia in the infrastructural development in Bayelsa State from the scratch. I write this with a mixture of a heavy heart and compelling sense of pride. Even as I mourn, I find comfort in the love, admiration, reverence, and even veneration that have been gushed out for you from all parts of Bielsa, the entire Ijo nation, and beyond. Despite the political persecution and orchestrated disinformation, that culminated in the public hysteria against you. You can imagine the mixture of emotions running through me as I write this. How can I possibly tell your story? Where should I start? It seemed like yesterday when we took over the reins of power from the military administrators in our respective states, Delta and Bielsa. How can I ever forget the role you played in resolving the chaos and disorder in both states in 1999? Youth militancy, occasioned by deep resentment of the federal government's political manipulation and interference in the Niger Delta, troubled both states. Unemployment, neglect, degradation of our ecosystem, oil pollution and poverty pushed our youths to convene a conference which gave birth to the Kayama Declaration. Delta State was overwhelmed by the Ijo Ishakiri crisis. How can I forget what you did to incentivize the chiefs, Perez and Agadabas to intervene positively? You secured the peace that was essential for us to settle into governance. I can recall my first visit to Bielsa State after the inception of democratic rule. It was a forgotten state with one road from the east-west highway to Yenagoa and no more. We went everywhere by boat. Fast forward to two years later, you had transformed the state capital and the neighboring towns and had by then started your fast-tracked development, establishing schools, notably the Niger Delta University, sending Bielsans to universities and vocational schools abroad on scholarship, etc. You provided stable power supply as Bielsa was not on the national grid. You actually integrated Bielsa into the Nigerian state and made it part of the modern world. How can we ever forget that? You rose like a phoenix from the ashes of political discontent and discord 
to, dis to be stride by Elsa's politics like a colossus. Your people's love for you was displayed on your return from London in November 2005. The entire state was agog with joy, not because every Bielsan agreed with your politics, but because most Bielsans believed your travails were triggered by your commitment to their cause. Naturally, you had your ardent supporters as well as adversaries. Yet, you rode into, ba into Yanagoa triumphantly, like the biblical Jesus entering Jerusalem. That was a memorable day in Bielsa's history. He also praised him for his relentless struggle for the emancipation of his people. Others who spoke included Senator Ali Modu Sharif, National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who also eulogized the efforts of late former governor of Bayelsa State in giving the right direction to his people. Senator Ali Modu Sharif advocated for better treatment for people of the Niger Delta region because according to him, they are the goose that lay the golden eggs. I feel the pain of Alamisia's death. Even my family are feeling the pain because you will walk in as a governor, walk into my house in Abuja. He called me Kanembono Empire. Say Kanembono, what does Madame have for us to eat? Very pleasant fellow. A person that through keepers of his friends, his brothers, his family. Therefore, on behalf of all the PDP in Nigeria, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my family, our common friends who are unable to be here, we condole the family of DSP Alamesia Modi Almighty. Allah that call him, give him a soko. Governor Owele Rocha Zakorocha of Imo State also commiserated with the people of Bayelsa State for the sad loss of former governor, Chief DSP Alamesia, but said the consolation for the family is that he was a kind-hearted person who was loved by everyone. Alamesia was a great man, a man who believed in his people. Even at the point where there was a clear demarcation between my party, the APC and PDP, and the Mr. Steve stayed me in my state, showing how large-hearted he is. May his gentle soul rest in peace. But ladies and gentlemen, let me remind all of us that for every sunrise, there must be a sunset. And for every journey that has a beginning, must have an end. Life is an inexplicable patora of misery. And no man know it when he was born and when he will die. So let it be with Alamesia. It is appointed unto man once but to die. And after that, there's judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, one day we shall all bow before the altars of God and we shall all be judged. Governor Siraki Dixon appealed for equal treatment for all people of Nigeria and for a stop to be put to unnecessary and unjustified harassment of people from the Niger Delta area to give them that needed sense of belonging that they are bona fide Nigerians that should enjoy all the rights and privileges that all citizens enjoy. This is a very trying moment in the life of our state, very trying moment in the life of our people, trying moment in the life of the Niger Delta and of our nation. A bridge builder has departed. He was not Ganua Kasina for nothing. It was Ganua Kasina as a sign of the breaches of understanding and solidarity that he and his friends and colleagues built to strengthen our nation. Chief Alamese, as you know, stood for what was right for our state, for the John Nation and for the Niger Delta. And I want to appreciate all his colleagues. Chief James Iboris, comments have been read, his tribute has been read. I'd like to also acknowledge the contributions and support that was extended to him by all the governors who were his contemporaries at the time. Because that is the spirit of the state, that is the spirit of the John Nation. We believe in an equal Nigeria, we believe in a federal Nigeria, we believe in a Nigeria that can be supported to be stable, democratic and prosperous. 
That is what all our leaders from this state and of the generation have committed themselves to. And Chief Alamesia stood by these principles. Former President Goodluck Jonathan, who said the death of his boss leaves a bitter taste in the mouth because of the circumstances that surrounded his demise. Remembering Chief DSP Alamesia for his efforts to restore peace in Bayelsa State, social integration, and infrastructural development, he prayed that God will guide and protect the widow and children he left behind. Because somebody I continue to call my boss is on his last journey back home. As every other, other person has said, the philosophers of old say death is a necessary end that will come when it will come. But the time and circumstances of any death sometimes could give a lasting memory to all of us, especially bitter memory in some cases. Yes, Alamese as a mortal being must die. Jonathan as a mortal being must die. But the circumstances of death of my boss, Chief Diapli Solomon Peter Alamese, as mentioned by Chief Indane for Iburi, and mentioned by my national chairman, this bitter taste, bitter memory in all of us. For that reason, elections in Bayelsa State were deferred till January 99. When we took over the state, there were two governments. DSP Alamese and Jonathan were running one government. Militant youths were running a different government. That was the circumstances that Alamese took over Bayelsa State. But Alamese gave us three things. I just mentioned three things. And I will leave. One, the vision. The next one was peace, social integration, and unity. Then, of course, the third one is the infrastructure development. The vision is in education. We established the Niger Delta University and other institutions. Without education, you cannot propel your people. For so somebody who takes education very seriously has a vision for the people. The heavy rain that began at the tail end of the service barely gave ample time for the preaching of the sermon. The Bishop of St. Stephen's Church, Yanagua, prayed for the repose of the soul of the deceased and for God to grant his family members the fortitude to bear the great loss. May God grant the soul of Chief D.S.P. Yalamasia, the first civilian governor of Bayelsa State, and the Governor General of the Ijo Nation, eternal rest in his bosom. The BC Olatilo Show, BOS, and the Chairman of Biscan Communications, Prince BC Olatilo, is searching frantically from Bayelsa State for a very good friend with the kind of free spirit Chief Alamasia had, who demonstrated unrestrained love and respect to us. Our last words, anyway is that we shall love Bielsons and Bielsa State with all our heart as a befitting tribute to Chief D.S.P. Alamesia, the Bielsan that loved B.O.S. and Prince B.C. Olatilo with no reservation.